Hello, this is Lawrence Romanowski from Calgary, Canada, shooting uh, from the Lugnuts facility. And I thought I would do a shop walk, uh, which would then just go through some of the uh, machines that we're currently uh, working on. And uh, they, all, uh, they, all, well, they all happen to be convertibles. Um, and so we've got uh, uh, a huge range of uh, interesting cars here. So uh, I'll just go through them. Uh, one by one, let you know what we're doing, and I uh, hope you find this interesting. Um, let me turn uh, this camera. So this is a 2006 Spiker C8 uh, Spider, and uh, we're, this this car hasn't moved in or started in 15 years, and so we're just recommissioning uh, it. We have uh, taken off some panels to properly detail it, and uh, we have uh, we're doing a major service on the car. Uh, and then we'll give it a uh, concours level detail and kind of polish every little bit of this car and we'll bring it to new. This car's only traveled 350 miles and its whole life. And, uh, you know, I, I imagine there's, I mean, spikers that generally have low mileage, but I don't imagine there's too many, uh, if any at all, with under 350 miles on it. So that'll be here for a while while we uh, work away. Uh, this is a Series 3 Jaguar E-Type. Um, we restored it for a client. Uh, we had, uh, you know, we had it sent out for metal work and for paint work and for the mechanical work, uh, etc. It has some sympathetic upgrades. Um, you can see a beautiful aluminum radiator and catch tank and we have, um, got rid of the emission control uh, uh, pieces on it and put uh, four nice uh, SUs with the pancake fil uh, uh, air filters on it. It was running steel wheels and so we changed the hubs and uh, put wires on the car. Um, we uh, changed out the, you know, the distributor and the fuel pump and all those sort of uh, ancillary components. Um, the brake system was all sent out uh, to white post uh, to get re-sleeved and so on. Uh, we've got Michelin XWXs, which are kind of more of a Ferrari tire, but they're, they're super cool. And we got those at uh, vast expense. Um, the color is uh, green sand, and uh, this is a, a color unique to an E-Type, and not a very common one. And uh, this was matched with an olive interior. So this, according to the uh, BMIHT certificate, is the first E-Type to be done in green sand and olive. So we um, uh, retrimmed the interior. Uh, we got a leather kit from Worldwide in California. Um, you, you dye the leather you know, to sample. So we sent them the original leather and they dyed it. Um, nobody makes... They had olive carpet, but nobody makes all of vinyl and on a, normally on an e-type the side sills and the uh, the door cards are vinyl and the seat faces are leather um, but nobody makes the all of vinyl and we we could have commissioned a roll of it but they wanted i think 20 meters or something like that at a cost of five or six thousand dollars and it was cheaper for us just to dye a couple extra uh, hides and do the door cards and the sills uh, in leather so you know, the Jaguar was sold at a price and that was one of the cost cutting measures that they, that William Lyons put in place uh, to lower the price. And Aston or a Rolls would have had leather sills, um, but they would have been, you know, double, twice as much money. So we sort of gave this E-Type the Aston or Rolls Royce treatment by doing the whole interior in leather. Okay, so kind of a neat car. It, I know we've run this at 35 degrees Celsius and it runs totally cool. So this, um, you know, the big radiator and, and twin electric fans uh, keep everything cool. And, uh, you know, it runs really sweetly now. Um, Dale Walmsley uh, did the final fettling on it. Hi, Dale. Um, and uh, uh, he, he did a really nice job on it, okay? So this is, this, uh, this is, I think, just a couple steps away from going back to the client. Uh, we have this uh, Jaguar uh, classic head unit that's going in with some new speakers, so we'll engineer that. 
and uh, a few odds and ends and seals and so forth that's going on the car. So that's the 73 Jaguar E-Type uh, e OTS. Next, we have this uh, 1993 Mercedes 300 CE. So this was uh, a ca cabriolet. So it's a cabriolet on the 124 platform, a pretty rare car. Um, when they started, when they designed the 124, they didn't think they were gonna do a cab. And I don't think they, were, they thought they were gonna do a 500E either. And both those variants of the 124 uh, required significant work uh, on the assembly line. The, the 500Es were sent to Porsche. Mm -hmm. And uh, so they, they would have made like a million 124s, only about 30,000 of the Cabriolets and maybe only 10,000 of the 500Es. The 500Es needed some panel bashing and then they, they were sent to Porsche. And uh, this car required some significant underbody strengthening and some other some other measures to stiffen the body shell. Um, it was the first four-seater Mercedes convertible since the W111 series uh, of the of the 60s and the early 70s, the 280, 280 SE, um, 2.8 and 3. Point, well, 220, 280, uh, and then the 3.5 Cabriolet. So that this was the modern four-seat Mercedes. And this is a, a really lovely example uh, from Victoria. Um, I can show you. The interior of the car. And this one's got about 120,000 kilometers on it. And you don't really get an impression maybe from this video, but the interior of this car looks brand new. I mean, in fact, this car looks brand new. So this is a really, really nice example. And, um, you know, one of, uh, one of the most fastidious, let me show you this here from the books, owners um, that I've come across in all of my Mercedes days. Uh, this is, uh, well, the immaculate trunk, of course, and this is his little notebook when he got the car and when he bought it in the radio code and then these are all the jobs that he did for preventative maintenance. Diff, brake, coolant, plugs, air filter, fuel filter, EGR valve, alternator, water pump, thermostat, radiator and hoses, expansion tank, idler pulley belt, tensioner and dampener, motor mounts, transmission mount, oil cooler hoses, oxygen sensor, fuel pressure regulator, temp sensor, air shocks, front brake rotors, pads, wheel bearings, rear brake rotors, pads, handbrake shoes, trunk lid shocks, ignition uh, lock, tumble, hood star and grill, speedo cable, rheostat, headlight switch, service radio and repair, uh, speedometer, refinish wood, heater fan, resistor, wiper assembly, etc. <laughs> so um, there's a hundred hours of preventative maintenance, a hundred hours and $13,000 worth of parts of preventative maintenance on what was already a lovely car. So surely this is, you know, it just must be one of the best uh, 300 uh, Cabriolets uh, existent. Um, it's quite, amu quite amusing the, the, um, the uh, uh, level of detail that's gone into it for the maintenance. So anyway, we have this, uh, we have this in the shop here. Uh, for photographs and video and we're selling it. Here is the 61 Land Rover. And this I've been working on for a couple of years now. Uh, Dale's uh, uh, doing the finishing touches to it. Uh, we are working on the wiring, uh, the heater hoses. We're working on just the final um, instruments, uh, switch gear, um, and just doing the final assembly, really. Uh, I've got all the original fasteners, which are coated, and then I'm just working on this grill panel right now. And uh, it won't take too much before this is, uh, is, is bolted together and running. So uh, we have to reinstall the, um, uh, the floor pans and the seat box, rivet the uh, toolbox to the bottom of the seat box, uh, finish the steering wheel, 
finish the wiring. So this one is coming along nicely. Uh, almost, almost complete. Okay. Um, there's a story about the color. Uh, when this E-Type, it was bought new at Cook Motors in Calgary. And within a year, the guy changed the color. He didn't like the color. He changed it to blue. Um, when we got the car, we had to decide, you know, putting it back to its original color, you know, one of the more traditional Jag colors or the original. And, uh, you know, it's, it, it, it's an unusual color. I just love it. Um, uh, you know, it's a real, you know, period, period color for, for an E-Type, but I think it suits it. And it's just nice when you see enough E-Types, you just sort of want to see one in a different color. So we went back to the original green sand and then I liked it so much. I thought, well, I asked the client, I said, do you mind if I paint my Rover to match your E-Type? Because I really like the color. So that's why this Rover is green sand. It's a Jaguar color. It was never a Rover color. Although there's a bunch of Land Rover colors that were similar uh, to this one, okay? So, you know, this should be done soon. And uh, then this is a, an 07 Aston Martin Vantage Roadster uh, Sport Shift and bought new at Desert European. It spent its whole life between here and, and, uh, and California with its one owner. And now it's here for sale. So I'm gonna do a separate video on this car now. Um, uh, but, uh, but this is in the shop, okay? So kind of an interesting mix of, uh, you know, affordable, you know, $40,000 E-Class, $50,000 Advantage. Um, you know, the Rover's worth about 100,000. You know, the, we won't talk about the E-Type. Um, uh, and then the Spiker is, you know, who knows, maybe more than a half a million dollars. So, uh, a, a, you know, a neat group of cars, all, yeah, all, all just pretty cool. And, uh, you know, something for, something for everybody. Uh, so that's it for this week. I'll, 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 I'll keep doing these. Uh, we, we do have some interesting machinery that uh, comes through lug nuts. And uh, we always like something a little bit different. So anyway. Okay, so thanks for viewing. And uh, we'll continue to sort of bring in some interesting machinery and uh, talk about it. And, uh, and hope, hope you've enjoyed. Please like and subscribe. Thank you very much. Lawrence Romanowski from Lugnuts facility in Calgary, Canada.